Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be starting a new series which is a plugin series where you can learn how to make plugins on Minecraft as you see here so if I quickly hop onto my Minecraft server you can see what I've managed to make with plugins but I'm gonna quit now and also I wanted to say thank you for a thousand subscribers as you see here it's now a thousand I don't know if it's changed I'll just refresh Nope, so still a thousand, so thank you very much for a thousand subscribers. I remember back a while ago doing a 50 subscriber video, and that doesn't even feel that long ago, but I remember doing it, here we go, nine months ago. So in nine months, I've gained 950 subscribers, so that's, that's about 100 a month, which is a lot, so thank you guys. And... Now I'm going to go on to the video about how to set up what you need to make plugins. So first of all you need Java JDK. So if you just type that into Google, wait for it to load and it's the first link. And most, well not most, quite a few uh, server hosters and the one I'm using which is Multicraft, um, not Multicraft sorry, Apex Minecraft and it's using Multicraft. It uses Java 6, which you can't actually download on Mac, which is what I'm on right now, so I, I can't test with that easily. But uh, you can just get the latest version, so you just click Java here. And then you can choose Windows uh, 32 or 64 or Mac or Linux or whatever you use. You need to accept the license, and you can, of course, choose any of these other ones. And once that's downloaded, you just go through the setup and then next you'll want to type in Eclipse into Google again and it will be the first link so if we wait for this to load so the original this Java JDK this is just the development kit and it lets you code in Java with this program so the Eclipse installer so here you can just tell you, download the Mac, Windows or Linux, depending on what you're using, and just go through the setup on that. And quite a few people have downloaded it, 3 million people. So it's definitely worth it, because you can then make any type of plugins you want. And I just want to say before I start coding with Eclipse, um, this tutorial is just showing you how to do the basics. So it's not going to be making the stuff that's like on my server, because that's quite advanced. And it's also using my techniques, and I know quite a few people of, on other tutorials have been saying to others, oh, your techniques are bad, but I'm just going to do it how I like to do it, and if it's bad, I don't really care. So this is what happens when you open it. You won't have this, but you'll be em I have an empty screen, and at the side here, this is my City RP plugin. But what you want to do is either right-click and go New, Java Project, or File, new and then java project and this is whatever you, you want to call it so i'm just going to call it tutorial uh, you can use the default location so you can choose where the place it will be saved to so you want to make a, a folder or something where all your plugins will be saved to and this is where you choose uh, the type of java it's going to be used so i've got java 6 7 or 8 Luckily I've got 6, I don't know why I've got 6 because I never downloaded it, but that's what my uh, plugin used, but I'm just going to use 1.8 because it's the latest. So once you've chosen a name, you can look at the, these other options, but there's no point, and just click finish. So this is just making all the files it needs, and if you click this little drop down arrow, this is your GRE system library, which is all the Java files, so if you open that, that's all the Java files. But what you want to do now is right click your project, so for me it's tutorial, go down to build path and then configure build path or you can just click add external archives but I'm going to click configure build path. So now if you click libraries at the top here and click add external jars. So this is where you need to get the latest version of spigot which you can just type in spigot into Google again and then get the latest download or you can just do what I did and download off your server hoster they should in the FTP as you see here 
it will have uh, a jars file, well mine does, it has a jars file with all the Minecraft jars that you can use on your server but if not you can just go to downloads and just go to the latest downloads for Spigot and obviously 1.8 is the recommended one there's a whole tutorial on how to download it down here somewhere uh, I'm not going to go deep into it because there's, there's lots of tutorials online so now we're back to here uh, we're choosing the jar we want to use so I'm going to use this Spigot one if I click open now that's shoved it into my project I just hit apply wait for it to load then hit ok so now you, as you see you've got reference libraries and here's all the Spigot files which is quite a few yeah a lot of Spigot files so you want to keep that minimized just so it doesn't get in the way so now you want to right click your SRC click new and click package and this is where you can sort all of your classes into classes is basically imagine a, a text file but it's for Java it's pretty much that but sorted into a little package as you see this little icon here so you want to name it usually people go com dot and then your company name but I, I never do that I just like to go with it simple so you know what it is so I might go with uh, main package so as you see, it's discouraged package name, but I, I I never listen to their ideas because I'm just going to be using this myself. I'm not going to be publishing it online. So hit finish. Now you've got a package. And as you see next to it, there's a little white icon. Now if we right click and click new and class, that icon will go away once we've made this. So now this is our first class. So I'm just going to call it the main because it's the main class and just hit finish. And now the icon is brown because it's got something inside it. So this is your main class. This is what your the server will read when you first when it first loads the plugin. So in order for the server to know it's a plugin, you want to type extends Java plugin. So we will need to import this because it's not imported right now. So you just click import Java plugin and then add it to the imports. So if, if you didn't have this spigot here then you wouldn't be able to import it and we will also want to do implements listener this is just for later on in the tutorial is when we want to do more advanced stuff just so you've got it here now it doesn't make any difference right now but now what I often do is if I quickly look in my other project just to remind me so I have got a lot of files in my city RP one so what I usually do is this, I do public static main PL so if I quickly paste this so this is basically public meaning that any other class that you have can see this main PL static means that it can be changed in other classes so say I had um, in this main package I didn't just have main I had chat for example to edit the chat I could then access this PL and change it, but I don't want to do that. And I don't want to import main dot main. I want to import main package dot main. That's because main dot main was this one's package. But this one is just main package dot main. So this is basically getting a reference of this class here, public class main, and then it's calling it PL. And then we're making a method called getPL, which just returns this. So that may sound complicated, but it, it, it works, basically. And then you will also want to do an onEnable. So under this, you want to do public void on enable. So these are the two normal brackets, which you can just put in. And then you want to do a curly bracket and press enter, and Eclipse should just fill that out for you. So this is what your plugin is read, like what it creates first. So if we literally did bucket.broadcastMessage, if we wait for it to load all of things, here we go, broadcast message, and then we can just put in hi. And also I just want to add, you've got to add these little colons or semicolons, I can't remember which is which, 
at the end of each of your lines unless it's a curly bracket line. So this is just so that Java knows that it's the end of a line. But if we loaded this plugin right now, all it would say is hi. So it's not very useful. And what you also want to do here is put this in here. You can just pause the video and copy this. So this, what this does is gets your server, gets your Minecraft server, it gets the, the plugins technically, and then it registers the events. This is uh, also used help with the listener. If the listener wasn't imported, I don't think this would work. I'm not too sure though, I don't think it would. No, there we go. So you'll get an error. So if you hover over it, it tells you it's not it's not applicable, meaning that it's not imported. So if we let main implement listener, and there we go, it works. So what this does is the listener is this. And the plugin is also this, and because this is the main file, that's what this is. So that's the main, what happens when you first open it. When you close the uh, server, you want an on disable. So then you can do bucket.broadcast message. Server is shutting down. And remember the little colon semicolon at the end so this is just a basic plugin that all it will do is when it turns on it will just broadcast to the entire server hi and then when you turn the plugin off it will say it's shutting down and one last thing I forgot to add is at the bottom of all this PL equals this so that's why we made it static so we can just access it here so PL equals this. And finally, in order for this plugin to properly work, is if I quickly borrow my plugin.yml here. So what a plugin.yml is, it's all the information for your plugin. So you just want to make it here. So if you right click this and new untitled text file, so then that will create your text file but it will be called untitled obviously and what you want to put into it is this so name mine isn't going to be city rp it's going to be tutorial description is tutorial plugin this can be whatever you want author is me version version and main now this is where this file is located your main file which is what we've just been coding in you should only have one file so far and You'll do put here is main package because that's what we call this, and then dot main, which is the name of your main class. And the reason you put a dot is because this is a package and then it's changing to this, so you put a dot. Now, when you save it, you want to make sure it's a plugin.yml, it can't be .txt or whatever else it could be. You want to make sure it's .yml, and you can then close that off, close this off. And then you want to right click it, go down to export, make sure it's under Java jar file, click next. And you want to make sure all of these are ticked, except I don't think class, mat, class path or project really matter, but you want to make sure plugin.yml is. And then you want to export it to whatever you want it to be called, so I'm just going to call it tutorial.jar. And then you just hit finish. And now on your desktop, here you go, this is the tutorial.jar, if I open up my test server, uh, go into plugins, you just drag this into your plugins folder, and then if we go back and we run it, this hopefully should work. So it's loading the server right now. And once it's done, we should see a little message in this saying hi, if it's worked, or we might get an error, which I hope, hopefully we won't get an error. If we do, I could easily fix it though. And also, if you have any problems, like you get a, an error in your code, just paste it in the comments and I, I'll try to fix it. So right now, it looks like it's worked. Um, oh, it's still loading spawn done 
and here we go tutorial it's enabling the plugin here so the plugin is enabled but we haven't got anything saying hi so perhaps I just did something wrong but I know you can do like server dot logger okay I, I've never done the logger thing so you can just play around with this this is just the basic plugin we can try shutting it down if it would open why isn't it opening well I can connect to it and just prove that it works and sorry about Minecraft being laggy this is because this is my laptop which isn't nowhere near as good as my computer so it's not going to be too good so I can make it full screen um, why isn't this opening? the server just stopped uh, I don't know I don't know what's going on with the server I'm going to disconnect just so it's not really laggy um, so that's really it for this video the next video I will be showing you how to do commands now most people do commands with the actual method which creates commands but I, I've always done it a different way which is how Snepica Studios, if you've ever heard of him or known of him from my old server, he was the one who taught me how to do this and I've always done it ever since because this plugin.yml is really confusing I find and really annoying when you're trying to make commands because every command you make you then have to have like commands colon and then press tab, actually you're not allowed to press tab in this, you have to press like four spaces and then the name enter another four spaces it's just really annoying and I don't like it so I've always done it the way Snepica taught me how to do it and I will show you how to do that in the next video I don't know what's wrong with my server though it just seems to be dying but anyway thank you guys for watching uh, thank you for the thousand subscribers leave a like if you liked the video and comment any problems or what tutorials you want me to do and I will also be doing more command block tutorials. I've just been busy with the server trying to make the plugin for it. As you see, it is quite a big plugin out of all of these files. And then inside each one, you've got more classes. As you see, this is one of the biggest. Then you've got all the guns. You've got chairs, which is only one. You've got bank, which is a few. Arresting in quite a few. Yeah, it, it took me a while to make. And the phone, there's still quite a few. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.